What's up guys? Welcome back to Jay's Trucking YouTube channel. Let's go into how to search for loads for Amazon Freight on the low board for Amazon. Specifically, Amazon Relay as you would know it. Or if you are not on Amazon Relay yet, I'm going to go ahead and show you, once you get access to it, how to look up loads. Alright guys, I've taken you over to my desktop and I want to show you specifically searching for Amazon's box truck loads. Now box truck loads, if you select work type, it's going to be on the left down here on load board and obviously you're going to go to the search tab. Box trucks are always going to be one way so I always uncheck these two. And let's say your origin is in, like me, Hebron, Kentucky, that's close to Cincinnati and all that and radius we'll leave it at 25 since you know that's going to be the origin of where the load is coming from or you can put put what your actual origin is uh, where your your trucks located and you can select this radius to include let's say Hebron Kentucky uh, destination this really depends on if you want to just have a broad search for any load coming out of there and you don't really care about where it's going me i do filter by city and i get it close to where my truck is located that way that the loads that i find are in a certain radius around you know where i would like to be and and a good example of this would be uh lexington kentucky that's pretty close to me and then i'll do like a 50 mile radius now there's no matches here and that's why your first search you may want to go a little bit broad now look i opened it up 75 miles around lexington kentucky and i already have some loads popping up now let's do 100 and obviously we're going to have a lot more start popping up but for the sake of this video we're going to keep it at anywhere for now and i want to show you how to filter specifically by 26 foot box truck you're going to go to trailer status you're going to go hit required you're going to go down to equipment 26 foot truck load type i don't really select load type because all of box truck loads are mainly uh drop and or not drop are mainly live because you do have to go and actually you're you're actually putting in work by putting on the pallets and stuff that's what live means and then drop and hook is basically you just pull up your semi and hook it up and we're obviously not semi now we're going to hit solo and we're not going to put a price or a payout but you can put your minimum payout that you would like to see like here's a 600 dollar load so let's do 550 and see what happens now look it's already filtered us down to uh, the $600 loads, but we're going to take it off just for the sake of the video to show you how many loads that they are actually having. You can select how many stops you would like to have max. I just leave it at any, and I don't touch the, the trip duration because I feel like that this doesn't really matter because I want to let you guys in on something. So right here it says how long the trip's going to take, and that's really relative because this is just a two-stop, right? Now, it might actually take seven hours to drive from Ur Erlinger, Kentucky to Crest Hill, Illinois. However, let's say it actually takes you three and a half hours because you know, you're leaving at night and there's not a lot of traffic. Let's say it takes you barely any time at all. This, this is why you don't filter by trip length. This does not, I've gotten loads that say it's a nine hour trip to like two or three different post offices. I got done in like five hours, okay? don't pay attention to trip duration don't filter by this don't be like oh but it's a seven hour day it's a nine hour day no 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 no. it is not okay now if i was going to book this i would click book here what that would do is it would be like are you sure and you would click yes and uh you would it would pop up in your trips tab and you would assign a driver uh if you're the driver you would assign yourself and then on your driver's phone it would you know give a notification that you are uh, you have a load coming up and what time that is and that's how you basically search a load on Amazon you can save this search you can hit save right here I want to tell you about poster truck really quick my poster truck orders that I usually do I give myself an hour and 30 minutes stem time this is the amount of time that they have that they can't assign loads to you within a certain amount of time of the load so say the load started in an hour and 30 minutes after let's say it hit an hour 29 minutes they could not assign me the load because i would not have time to make it there on time now obviously you would have the same filters and your minimum payout let's say you want 600 bucks 
uh, for any load going anywhere, you would hit submit, and uh, obviously you'd pick a date, let's say for tonight. And as soon as they have a load that meets your parameters and they are able to pay you 600 for that, you get a notification saying load P6217 has been booked. Uh, it would show up in your trips or on your dashboard on upcoming right here. That's it for today's video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below uh, regarding searching. Um, any questions you have about, let's say, performance score, how to get more loads, how to gain early access, anything like that that you guys have questions about, I will be sure to respond. And please hit a like if you got value from this video, as well as consider subscribing as I plan on growing my company not only uh, with Amazon, but also out of Amazon. And I want you to follow me, follow along with that journey. Uh, I am a truck driver that wants to stay local due to obviously a relationship and, and my wife would like me to stay local as well. See you guys in the next video.